everybody, what's going on? Big Bear Photo One Sports Gaming back again with our Detroit Tigers draft only rebuild. Uh, we are in off season. We're about to simulate to the off season here. Uh, just picking up right where we left off last time. Uh, Astros feed the Phillies. The 2022 World or in the postseason. Uh, so it looks like our first page pitching coach and hitting coach all retired. That's always fun. Um, we had a couple people retired just because of their ability, but I'm pretty sure they're just deep potentials. Yeah, so nothing too much there. Uh, let's see if anyone we know. John Lester retired. Um, only pitched 57 innings in 30 games last year. Um, but other than that, um, I got Aguilar. No, that's not this. I was the guys I'm thinking of. Um, Albert Pujols uh, goes in the Hall of Fame. Uh, I, I expect that to happen. All right. So we can do the staffs later. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do all the free agents and stuff so you guys don't have to see that. Go ahead and see the rest of the season. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the rosters. Looks like I'm going to keep – I think he needs a little bit more time down the Myers. I know – we drafted him. Uh, Dell, I think, is going to be up in the major leagues. He played a little bit last year. I think he'll stay. Harvey's going to stay up here as well. He has a decent bat. Uh, hopefully he'll do better. His defense is not that decent. Um, Ramos is going to stay down. He needs to work on his bat. Uh, and then other than that, who were my other guys? So starters. Uh, Chavez needs to another year down the minors. Probably even more than that. Silva, I think I'm going to have him start in double A. Uh, relievers, I don't think I have any relievers drafted. Closers, I just have uh, Tomas. So, catchers, we have Al uh, Steven. Steven. Uh, first baseman, hopefully uh, Sean can get some stuff going. Uh, maybe he can have a decent year and uh, be up in potential. Same thing with Ramos. Maybe he's our everyday second baseman. Third baseman, uh, Kurecki also needs to go up. Uh, his fielding's good, but his bat's not there. Uh, Del, we already talked about Dell and Harvey. Schaefer does need to get stuff going. He needs to get his bat going. Hopefully, he can have a decent year at the plate. Uh, our center fielder, I think, is Hines. Yeah, Tom Hines. Again, he's working his bat. I think he's a 79 potential, if I remember correctly. But not 100% sure on that. But then we don't have a right fielder, so we're definitely going to need to... Get a right fielder in scouting. Let's make sure our scouting is the ones that are perfect. We have a better, we can have a better East. Look at our scouts, man. We can even upgrade our Central. Ah, three mil, three mil, three mil, then a two and a half, and that's pretty good. Like, look at that. Holy, Ross McDonald is going to be an awesome scout for us in the East. Against, I think uh, this is going to be the same. We're all going to be the same. All right. Uh, and then I will go ahead and see you guys at the draft. All right, so draft number three is complete. Um, as you guys can see, we drafted TJ Stanridge at number one overall. His contact is really good for a guy at only 20 years old. Uh, his defense really isn't there. Uh, so that will most likely hold him back from coming up sooner. Plus, we have the other two shortstops. And I don't know if he does not allow any secondary. So he, unfortunately, he might just be a log jam. And he was really the only guy that was out of it. I think, yeah, there's a closer. There's like four closers, a left fielder. I will just go ahead and go through this. Um, see who the highest potential is. 94 third. Here's the other guy I was looking at. Uh, but I just thought the guy at short was going to be the better option. Uh, other than that, oh, the Reds got a center fielder. Down there. I was got a 92 catcher. Okay. That was the other one that wasn't the, was the blue chip. That wasn't the closing pitchers. Another one. Sticks forever. There we go. 
So uh, our second pick was also uh, Sandbridge is or Sand Ridge is a 56 overall. You might even just bump that up, just coming up through the minors. I mean, if he gets his power and defense up, he'll be a decent, decent uh, player on the team. Uh, Jim Smith, a 19 year old starting pitcher, is 80 or 66 overall, 83 potential. Uh, walks for Ryan's not good, but his K's and stamina are pretty decent. Again, with nine fielding, they do not like to give pitchers good fielding at all. Uh, Aguilar, uh, starting pitcher, uh, his walks fine isn't that good, but his stamina is great. And this guy actually has decent fielding. Um, good, decent velocity, decent break. Uh, of course, we won't be using these players, but uh, we're stimulation, and usually walks behind are pretty good. Uh, uh, our first right fielder that we've taken, a uh, pretty good speed guy in right field, um, Rushi Rodriguez. Uh, okay fielding for right field. Uh, he can't bunt. Well, he can he can't drag bunt, but does have decent speed, and decent steal uh, for being 21. He's 47, which is not good. So hopefully he'll have a decent year at some point. Uh, and then Hildalgo, again, another speed guy. Uh, de- really decent contact versus left and contact versus right uh, as 18. So hopefully and he has 97 durability. So he's playing every day. Uh, Herman, really good power. Not the greatest potential. Maybe a year or two in the minors and he gets that potential into the 70s. Uh, hopefully. Uh, durability is pretty good, so he'll be playing mostly every day. So you don't really need an arm at first base. Uh, and then our last pick was just a shot in the dark. I know we need relief pitching. Uh, Vargas the only one that's decent on there. Um, another, again, he's a closer, but I like having two closers on the roster just because... Um, they're uh, pretty decent. All right, so that was year uh, our third uh, draft. So now I'll go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. I'll kind of show you guys the stats and everything as well for everybody. All right, we're uh, we're close to the end of the season. We're actually in September. I just kind of wanted to stop it here just to give you guys an update on everything. Uh, we called up uh, our catcher Steven. He's a 78 overall now. Uh, pretty good. He's improving. That's what I needed from him. He's now 78. Uh, Dell did have an injury halfway through the year. He's in sense why he's only playing or played in 90 games. Uh, but 305 average hitting 13 home runs. Uh, again, everything's increasing. It's only by one, but it's, I mean, it's okay. He's only a C potential. Uh, Harvey also had an injury halfway through the year. Uh, hence he's only played 88 games, but 280, uh, he's around a 280 hitter so far, 270 hitter, uh, nine stolen bases, four home runs, 21 doubles. Um, Tomas is staying in the, uh, the minor leagues. He's three and four, uh, with how many, he saved 29 games have blown eight. That's not good. Uh, we called up Ramos, I think just, uh, just recently. Cause we had so many injuries. We, we had a jam of just injuries constantly to the team uh, a little bit ago. Uh, Masias, uh, again, he's actually doing pretty good. His contacts going up. That's what I needed from him. Uh, his durability is now a 99, so I don't know if he's going to get injured very much. Uh, he's played in 110 games, uh, 301 average. That's good for him. He needs to upgrade his power, and then I think he's there. And then Unzo, we didn't draft, so I don't really care about him. Uh, Schaefer also did get hurt as well. He just called up to triple A, so he doesn't have any stats. Kind of unfortunate. Um, Chavez. Uh, he's gone up in a couple things. The stamina does go down, but I really need his walks per nine to go up. Uh, five and nine. He's a three-two-three three ERA, so that's not too bad. Uh, Hines also got an injury halfway through the year. Um, he's only batting two hundred six, which is not good. I need, I really need him to work on his bat, and then he'll be, he'll be ready to go. Uh, Kureki, again, he's just not performing like I thought he was going to. It's just maybe sending him back down to Double A next year. Help him out with that. Just go ahead and just go by piece by piece, just making sure I'm not missing anybody. Uh, Mansfield, uh, 530 ERA is not good, but hey, everything's improving. His walks per nine improved. His home runs per nine's improved. Not too bad. Uh, Silva, 298 ERA, plus fives to a couple things and plus threes. So pretty good. Uh, six and ten, though, is not. How do you get saves? I put him in the starting rotation. That's weird. Um, closers again, let me check that. Uh, 
Yeah, Steven was a he's now a B potential, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's now a B. He was a C. It looks like he went up with that. That's Yeah, so uh but yeah, we're almost at the end of the season. Uh right now we have one of the worst records in the MLB. With the Tigers only one game back of us, the Pirates have 48 wins so far. So all we just need to do is keep on losing the big of the first overall pick again. They just uh, got done with that. We just won two games in a row. All right. So back now, we are at the end of the season. Uh, this guy went back down the minors. He uh, got three hits and 13 at bats in 10 games. Again, not too much. He'll probably be our starting catcher next year. Uh, Dell 293, Harvey 280. Ramos played in one game and then got sent back down. Uh, damn, Matias went up 10 with his contact now. That's pretty good for him. Go ahead and check the standings. Indians win the Central by two games. Uh, 94 wins. Uh, White Sox are ranked second, apparently. Oh, I'm pretty good. Uh, of course, we're ranked 30th in everything besides speed. The Astros won the West. Uh, the Angels were second. The Athletics were third. Both of them get the wild cards. And in the East, the Orioles. Huh? Okay. Um, the East is garbage. Uh, NL, uh, the Braves won the East. Uh, with the Phillies being second by one game. Uh, in the Central, the Brewers win it. Uh, the Cubs get a second wild card. And the Dodgers, of course, won the West with 110 wins. So we'll go ahead and simulate into the offseason again. See who wins. Again, the Astros defeat the Dodgers. I'm pretty sure the Astros have won three straight World Series. Anybody retire? Just uh, three people that would be potentials. So, don't really care about them. No one gets inducted to the Hall of Fame. All right. So, I'll go ahead and just do the whole offseason. You guys wanted to look at that again. Uh, and then I'll meet you guys again uh, halfway through the draft. And I'll kind of show you what you did, what I did. I, Bob Lovino, 71 overall. Probably the best one on the board, in my opinion. Uh, 19 years old. Again, 71 is actually pretty good already. Uh, 94 potential, really good bat, um, has really good speed. His durability is a little bit lower, but he can still play mostly every day. Has good fielding. Doesn't have the arm to play right, so he'll probably play left. Uh, then we drafted Paul Robbins, 72 overall, uh, 75 potential. 96 stamina, so he's going to uh, pitch long games. Again, walks behind is pretty low. Not the best, but it's it's around even. Now you go ahead and took Tom Light, an 89 potential center fielder, 74 overall. His bat did go down when we drafted him. The speed and stealing went up. That's what all I'm looking at. Looking pretty good. Uh, then we go ahead and took Kevin Ritter. I, I try to take as much pitchers as I could. He also has 85 stamina, so maybe these two are going to be our mainstays in the rotation uh, going into when we can compete. A 68 overall. He is 23, so that's the only downside. Uh, but 85 potential or 85 stamina, decent velocity, decent break. Again, our stall, our all of our starting pitchers have no fielding, uh, and then his per nines are okay. And then we put, uh, then we get ahead and take Raymond Minosa. Look at that mustache. He's got a stash going on. 76 uh, potential, 50 overall. A really good arm at fielding. Maybe he has a secondary third. Um, and even though it says none secondary, he'll probably have a secondary of something. Uh, but decent contact um, for someone that's you know 50 overall. We had took uh, Mako Ring as well, 58 overall, 71 potential. And so he's on the lower side of the potential scale. Um, but again, 73 stamina. If he doesn't make it as a starter, we can put him in the bullpen. Okay, pronounced besides K's and walks, but I don't really care about those. All I really care about is hits and walks. 
Uh, and then Mickey Sanchez, 51 overall, C potential, 89 steal. Again, we're just drafting a bunch of speed guys. He had a hot, like, apparently our scouts did not do a good job with this one because everything went down, or maybe I just looked wrong and I took the wrong guy. Uh, but Mickey Sanchez uh, definitely goes down in a lot of stuff with his contact and power, which is not good at all. But hopefully, he can be good to go whenever we need him to compete. Uh, Steven, our catcher, halfway through this year, plus five contact versus left already. Uh, 268 average, doing pretty good. Eight doubles, six home runs. Uh, 46 strikeouts is not the best. It's not good at all. And 183 at bats. Uh, Dell, in his third year pro, uh, 226. He's not having the great best start to the year. Uh, Harvey, 262. Again, most everything is going up. Again, he's hitting around 270. That's where he normally is. Uh, for, again, 46 strikeouts. He almost He's probably going to beat last year's average already. Uh, Benitez, he's not having the best of years. He has two saves, three overblown, four holds, a seven ERA in 15 innings, allowing 13 on runs. Uh, Ramos back to 210. Uh, he had one game last year. Uh, but 68 strikeouts. We're striking out a lot, and that's not that's not good. Uh, Masias back 255. He's now a 72 overall. Everything's moving up. I need those power numbers to, to uh, continue moving up, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, Schaefer batting 216. He's a 68 overall now, plus seven to power versus left. I need that for his power versus right, and all both of his contacts and go up seven. Uh, Aguilar. 67 overall, plus one to walks per nine. That's all I really care about. Uh, Jim Smith, 67 overall, B potential. I don't know why I said his potential. Whatever. Uh, he's going up as well. One, four, six whip, about five ERA is not good. Uh, Chavez, seven ERA, again, not good. Karecki, 213. His is mostly going up, so hopefully he'll be good. Uh, Doggo, 367 average and 79 at bats. I mean, for 63, that's overall, that's pretty doggone good, and everything's going up as well. Uh, Mansfield is hurt halfway through the year. He had actually had a 3 3 1. He's been having a decent year. Sad that he got hurt, though. Uh, just to speed up a little bit, just trying to find everybody. Uh, Carlos Silva, uh, 159 ERA in 34 innings. Uh, he's started only five games, but still pretty good. And I think oh, we got one more. We got Sandridge, 268 average. Everything's moving up. His actually discipline's gone down, but I really need one of these years. I have just everything going up like two or three points. Raised the overall. And Richie Rodriguez. Uh, one of our lowest guys that we drafted, only 168. Everything's moving up. His actually contact went down three, and that's not good for him because I think uh, he's been staying where, where he is. But uh, so far, it looks like the Twins are leading the AL Central by six and a half games. Angels are leading the West. Only lost 18 games. Uh, Bravely, the East, Brewers, the Central, Padres, the West. And then the East, again with the Orioles. Somehow, some way, they're beating the Yankees. I don't know how, but they are. All right, we're going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the year. Uh, I will see you guys at the very end to kind of go over the overall, all the stats. Just wrapping up, I will go ahead and take you just guys through the minor league system of what we had uh, going on. Let's go ahead and sort by potential. Uh, Silva, 2970 right here to bounce back uh, second half. Uh, his per nine has gone up. Walks per nine went up three. That's pretty good for him. What I need from him as well. He went up to a 61 overall. Uh, Chavez, 4-4-7. Uh, hits and Ks per nine go up four. Pretty good. John Smith, or Jim Smith, uh, four to his Ks per nine, three to his walks per nine, four to his pitching clutch, three to his actually arm, which is really weird, but okay. Uh, Colin, I don't think we... Did we draft him? Yeah, we had to have, Yeah. Colin, uh, two to everything. He's gone up everywhere, so that's good for him. He's now 59 overall. Hines again got hurt again uh, before. 
His contact for his left went down, but his power versus the left went up. Uh, Hildago hit really well, plus five and plus three to his contact with a draw already really good. He has now 99 durability. Uh, he went up to a 65 overall, so doing pretty good for himself. Uh, which Rodriguez has now 49 overall with a four with a 32 power. Again, he's gonna be a project if he's gonna make it. All right, Triple A, uh, Sandridge 268. Uh, plus four is Condi versus left and division. Uh, one of the more notables out of all of those. Uh, Masius, again, his uh, bat against right did pretty well. Uh, plus four and plus five. Still already has that um, 99 durability. Uh, Kureki went up to a 68 overall. I'll actually include, in, uh, he went plus nine in Condi versus left. That's what I'm looking for for him. He definitely needs his bat going, and then once he's good, he's going to be in the majors. Uh, Schaefer, his bat finally wakes up. Plus six power to left and to right. Good for him. Good for him. Uh, Mansfield, 324, plus fives. Pretty good. Uh, and unfortunately, that was not to walks per nine. Uh, Parham, walks per nine went up four. That's why I need. I think I'm going to move him to the bullpen. And only a three-pitch mix. It's not good for a starter. Uh, Vargas, I don't think... Yeah, we did draft him. I keep forgetting who we draft, but uh, decent Ks per nine now. Uh, not good clutch, but... All right, and let's go ahead. I'll see you guys at the end of October just to go through all the stats uh, for our guys in the major leagues. All right, this is the last day of the season, so I'll just go ahead and uh, give you guys this. Not really much is going to change. Uh, Steven, our catcher, 80 overall, now 91 contact versus left, with that going up plus 9 this year. Uh, 285 average, 144 strikeouts, though is not good, and 537 at-bats. Uh, he does have more hits than strikeouts, so that's a good thing, at least. Uh, 331 on base percentage is actually pretty good. Uh, Harvey, everything went up, which is good. Except for speed and all of his stealing and base running aggressiveness. Uh, this year, played 144 games, 263 average, so again, hitting around that 270 uh, mark. 135 hits, uh, 9 home runs, 121 strikeouts, 26 stolen bases. Uh, Dell uh, went down 4 in his contact versus right. I was really hoping it increases overall again, but he did not have the best year at the plate. He did play 161 games. I was, I was hoping that would upgrade his durability, but that is not the case. Uh, Ramos went plus six each of his hitting stats besides power versus left, which only went up plus two. But hey, looking pretty good for him. Uh, two twenty-two average though in his for in his major league uh, first major league year. Uh, our closer uh, Tomas six eleven ERA, not good in fifty-seven innings, lost thirty-eight earned runs. Masias is now at 74. I think I went already over this. Yeah, we did. Uh, Aguilar got uh, promoted halfway through the year in September. Four and a third inning, six hits, only gave up one earned, 208 ERA. So not too bad. Goes up four and hits per nine and in walks. Same thing when uh, Javier's not. But yeah, so that will go ahead and do it for this episode as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll go ahead and leave it right here on just on the screen. I actually, you know, mark it off. Uh, kind of take you guys through here. So we'll go ahead and check the standings. I totally forgot to do that. And some awards. Uh, so we got Rookie of the Year. Al, or Almazar wins Rookie of the Year. I totally forgot. To, I keep forgetting to do this, but I'll go ahead. Uh, Alvarez won 2022. Trout won 2023. And Soto won MVP. Uh, Cy Young goes to Flaherty. Uh, Juan Soto wins the batting title. Mark Trout won it the last two years. Ryan Presley wins reliever of the year. Uh, our catcher wins rookie of the year. Bobby Wood Jr. was actually up here as well. And Ramos was number three. So we had a bunch of rookies there. 
Uh, Hank Aaron Ward goes to Juan Soto. Gold gloves. Syndergaard wins it. Uh, Gary Sanchez now with the Orioles. Uh, first base goes to Bobby Bradley of the Rays. Second uh, second base goes Luis Arias of the Baltimore Orioles. Jose Ramirez. I forgot they had Jose Ramirez. Uh, Bobby Wade Jr. wins gold glove in his rookie year. Uh, Eloy wins it in um, – really? 6-3 fielding? No one did better? I guess Soto had some errors out there. Oh, well. Um, Luis Robert. Dang. Oh, I thought all the right fielders got – the Royals had Joey Gallo. And right, which is kind of surprising. Uh, Silver Sluggers, Bregman wins it for the DH. Zach Collins with the White Sox. Oh, Mazar was number two setting. Hoskins, uh, wins it. that's why the Oils are doing great. They literally have a super team. Uh, Witt wins it in, uh, with the Angels. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. wins it with the Mariners now. Uh, Amit Rosario with the Indians. Sorry, I totally forgot who it was. Uh, Mike Trout wins it in left. Trout wins it in center. And Alvarez wins it as well in the Silver Sluggers. Again, postseason MVPs, if you looked at that. Again, literally three straight World Series for the Astros. Pretty sure they're cheating. But anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like down below. Consider subscribing. That really helps out the channel. Uh, and again, if you guys do want to take a part of this, uh, go ahead. Leave a comment down below saying, hey, I want to, you know, join in on this. Uh, I'll kind of get your name in there, and you'll be a prospect in our system. Uh, as you can see, I don't think I can get in here. Let's check top prospects. So CJ Abrams is still number one. Do we have any top prospects in here? A bunch of Mariners. Probably not because we have, we have called everyone up mostly. Oh, we do have Messiahs at 47. If you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that like button down below. It uh, really helps out the channel if you do uh, like my content. Hopefully, if you guys missed us last episodes, it will be somewhere on the screen here. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'm out. Peace.